welcome everyone to this lightning talk today. I apologize for the inconvenience uh, with this presentation. Um, this lightning talk will be from the perspective of, of the stakeholder industry. So this means we are not an academic institution presenting or doing research in Julia, nor we are a software company or a startup developing packages in it. We are a multi-utility company based in Austria who is just uh, discovering the pearls of uh, Julia, started discovering the pearls of Julia in the Lex in the in the last six months to a year, and we're trying to see how Julia can benefit uh, the, the tools that we're trying to develop. The topic is optimization, and it goes well with the workshop presented yesterday by Dr. V. Elma from MIT and the Ecosystem Jump, and it also has some connection to a uh, Julia Conference 2017 talk uh, from um, uh, PSR. Uh, but we'll go into the details. My name is Vaska, and for any questions afterwards, I'll be happy to exchange any ideas on, on this topic. Um, brief introduction of the talk, uh, brief introduction of my company, then some of the projects that we have already initiated in Julia. Afterwards, I'm going to go through the driving questions in the portfolio and asset optimization, which is my field of work. And then uh, going through, uh, I will go through a case study or a package that we have just developed internally and benchmark it through other uh, languages and how it performs. Just briefly, um, as I said, Austrian-based multi-utility company, I will just reference the production capacity is around 2,300 megawatts. We have thermal power plants, hydro power plants, but also investing increasingly into renewable energy, so wind photovoltaics and biomass power plants. Um, some of the projects that we have initiated in Julia and have running uh, parallel, we have uh, forecasting of icing events on wind turbines, which can, has, which can have financial, uh, significant financial impacts in winter for the wind turbines. Uh, then some algorithm tra al algorithmic trading strategies in Julia. And the last project or several projects is optimization of hydro and thermal power plants in Julia. And we're trying to benchmark this to existing Java applications that we have in house. Uh, all of this is a co collaboration with different institutions, most of them Technical University in Vienna. We have, uh, been we have been using existing Julia packages, but also trying to modify and develop some new ones. Uh, so far, the last column, what is our experience with Julia? We're quite happy with the performance as far as, as, far as we've come. Um, and um, we did have experienced some uh, some problems with reading and working with uh, XLS files and also some database connections. So JDBC connectors seem not to be so stable, but uh, we're gonna keep on exploring that and maybe with uh, 1.0 it, it will get better. Um, we are happy with the dynamic type inference and also how fast the JIT compiler is. Um, but more to come, some of the driving questions in the portfolio optimization. Um, we have a mixed portfolio of thermal power and power and hydro power plants. We also try to build up uh, the gas portfolio, the heat portfolio, and the electricity portfolio all in one virtual power plant. We try to optimize uh, across many terms, so midterm up to day ahead uh, and intraday, so very short term, uh, uh, very, uh, very short term um, optimization. And um, we we also try to optimize across markets. What does that mean? We try to see with delta hedging, for example, what do we place on the future markets or forward markets? How much do we leave for the reserve, uh, for the reserve or balancing market and uh, day ahead bidding process and then up to intraday to see what is our flexibility also uh, in or where, where we are able to use the volatility that we see in the intraday markets at the moment in Austria. Depending on what we're trying to do, we have been having some experience with different algorithms, linear programming, mixed integer linear programming in the short term optimization, um, have also uh, have built significant experience with backward dynamic programming in uh, other applications, uh, Java mostly. Um, and the last part is where Julia comes in, stochastic dynamic dual programming. As we saw last year's presentation of uh, PSR, um, this is a very exciting algorithm, the stochastic dynamic dual programming, and I will not be talking in the interest of time too much about it. Uh, but it is a very nice approximation of the Bellman function um, by evaluating the future cost function and its derivative at some points. Um, so it, we were very happy to find out that we don't have to reinvent the wheel and rewrite the whole solver, and, but just go ahead and test what does uh, this, uh, algorithm mean uh, and how we can use it. Um, 
for our very, uh, one of the most complicated optimization problem is actually the hydro cascade dispatch problem. Why? Because it, it is a multi-stage and also a multi-scenario stochastic problem. Multi-stage because we have reservoirs and we can decide on when do we use this capacity of water now or later. And also multi-scenario because you have the natural inflows of the rivers um, and um, this uh, already produces a lot of scenarios. So we've been having some experience with the job ecosystem for mathematical optimization and started with the Stoch dynamic programming packages and SDP packages. This is a brief uh, yeah, uh, screenshot which shows also some of the first um, uh, results that we have uh, gotten using this. We have taken this further and developed our own internal package, we have basically modified the existing uh, stock dynamic programming package uh, because it did not include all the things that we needed. So we have defined our objects. We also included the, the, the option not to only turbine, but also to pump. Uh, we have been uh, defining the dynamic, which was a little bit more complicated than what was already given online. Um, then uh, defining the cost functions, modeling the noise laws, defining the bounds on the state and the control, and the rest pretty much goes uh, in line with what uh, Professor Vielma presented yesterday, which is defining the variables, constraints, objectives, uh, defining the solver parameters, and then solving for the model. We also struggled a little bit with uh, extracting the dual variables, which are the shadow prices, which are quite a significant signal that we want to use also in the intraday, uh, in the intraday, um, uh, for in the intraday market as signals for the intraday optimization. So uh, what are the experiences that we've gained with Julia, some problems with the stability of the JDBC package. Also, we had no problems modeling the physics, but we did have some problems uh, modeling the constraints to the water level. Basically, in the existing packages, it was not able to give dynamic, uh, dynamic water level limits of the higher storage as time series. So we tried to expand on that. And also, we were quite limited in, mo in modeling complex uncertainties, basically forecasts of the natural uh, inflow from the river. So we tried to compensate on that. Um, last, um, almost, almost done with the presentation, some benchmarking in Julia versus alternative. So on the left side, you see a graphic, and this is not, uh, does not have to do with hydro cascade, but uh, with a thermal power plant. We basically tried to benchmark Julia against existing applications. Java, it's not to be seen on this graphic, but I can tell you that uh, in over three months in 15 minute intervals, this specific thermal power plant um, yeah, solving it in MATLAB with Gurubi, with uh, traditional solver, was not as performant as it was in Julia. So we needed about 88 seconds to optimize three months in 15 minute intervals, uh, this thermal power plant. And that goes around exactly the performance of our Java application, um, almost the similar code. Um, Java has a little bit of, a, of an advantage here, but that's really insignificant. So one uh, or two seconds. And then the, uh, on the right side, you see exactly the benchmarking, or I would like to point out some difficulties that we have found while working with this SDDP package. Um, basically, as we try to vary the inputs and the iterations and the forward passes in this algorithm, uh, and this is in minutes, not seconds, uh, it came to huge uh, yeah, performance um, dead deadlocks, how to say, and also we did have a completely, um, yeah, Julia crashed several times while well, we tried to do this uh, optimization. So there is something to be, to, to be done there. We're going to continue working on these packages. And uh, what uh, Professor Vilma said yesterday, uh, the best part in Julia is being able to do your own solvers, develop your own solvers. So this is the next, pack, this is the next step for us, where we want to uh, really uh, go down and do the dirty work and develop the solvers for the SDDP. Uh, we are going to, we're quite new and uh, with, with Julia, but we're going to definitely try to expand the knowledge base. Uh, we are open for any exchange with other, uh, we already saw some, some uh, similar um, presentations in this area. We are ready uh, and we are happy to, to do some exchange in the coding. Some foreseeable projects for the, for the upcoming period is intraday trading, algorithmic trading strategy, and also building virtual power plant for small batteries, which uh, we have already started with some of the uh, presenters here in this conference. Thank you. Uh, happy to answer questions afterwards. <laughs> Okay.